Be sure to order your copy of the Go-Go Offense by Coach Brennan Marion on footballgameplan.com slash go-go offense. Coach Marion goes through the ins and outs of his explosive offense, one that's tearing up the college football field and putting a lot of points on the scoreboard. Again, you can order your copy at footballgameplan.com slash go-go offense. Recruiting is the lifeblood of any college football program, and now more than ever, it's critical to get the right type of student athlete that'll help you push your team over the top. So let's hit the recruiting trail to see how well these teams recruited this past offseason in our recruiting roundup powered by the football game plan 400. We'll start off with the Albany Great Danes and Jalen Dabney. The 6'1", 200-pound prospect was a tremendous quarterback in high school and will play running back for the Great Danes. And when you break down his running skills, you see a guy with great elusiveness and body lean for a tall player. And in my opinion, that'll make the transition pretty effortless for him moving forward. Delaware has a big wideout in Allende Bud who stands 6'5 and weighs 205 pounds and it's good to see that a young guy like Bud is comfortable with his size and frame because normally you see receivers look awkward and out of control when they're that tall but not Bud. He has terrific footwork, athleticism and the body control that you want to see. I think he's going to develop nicely for head coach Danny Rocco. Elon's Marvin Pearson was an excellent tight end in high school and the Phoenix will use that athleticism on the defensive side of the ball as an edge rusher. Oh, by the way, he thrived there as well in high school. He's got A plus change of direction skills and takes great pursuit angles to the ball carrier. Latrell Palmer comes from a really strong high school program and good counsel and has college ready game in my opinion. He's got great pad level, good contact balance and shows above average agility to quickly get himself in and out of a jam with a burst of finished runs and that's what you want to see. I think he can easily position himself to see playing time early for James Madison. First things first, Satchel McKinney has the best name of any incoming recruit in the CAA. Secondly, and most important, he has phenomenal game as both as a corner and a returnman. So don't let the 5'9", 165 pound frame fool you. McKinney also has no problem flying up in the alley and run support and making a play. Griffin Helm from Jacksonville, Florida figures to fit in perfectly with the New Hampshire Wildcats passing offense. I think he has great body control and a complete understanding of how to run routes and set up defenders. You can tell that he's going to become a problem for opposing defenses in the CAA. The athleticism of offensive lineman Kevin Cerruti is what gets you excited about his potential with the Rhode Island Rams. Anytime you can get your alignment out and around in a running game, it's a plus. Also, whenever you can get a lineman that can finish like Cerruti can, you offer him whatever he wants. He's going to be an excellent player for the Rams. Keep an eye on Lewis Montana for the Richmond Spiders. He has cat-like quickness off the ball and A-plus core strength to be able to anchor at the point of attack. And I think he shows the potential to either be a hand-in-the-dirt defensive end or a stand-up outside edge rusher. Depending on what head coach Russ Huseman wants to do defensively, I believe Montana gives them that flexibility. You know Stony Brook will keep the running back stable fresh with incoming talent and Tayshawn Brinson figures to be the next great Seawolf ball carrier. I thought his vision and patience was where it needed to be on film and I like his never say die attitude while he's running the ball. He also shows the speed to be able to hit the home run as well. The Towson Tigers got tougher defensively with the addition of Khalil Gary from Upper Marlboro, Maryland. With the type of offenses that you face in the CAA, you have to be able to not only hold your own at the point of attack, but also be able to get pressure from within. I think Gary, with this combination of quickness and technique, gives Towson a chance to do both really well. Villanova does a fantastic job of developing offensive linemen and they have an excellent prospect coming in with Jaden Rowling from New York City. Rowling has what you can't coach, size, functional strength, and attitude to dominate. The Wildcats will smooth out the technical parts of his game as he continues to develop and he'll be a force before it's all said and done. And finally, new William & Mary head coach Mike London is one of the best recruiters and developers in college football. He gets a great one in defensive back Marcus Barnes from Jeanette, Pennsylvania. Barnes at 6'3", 175, looks to be your new age safety type prospect that can play deep, he 
can play shallow, man or zone with the ball in his hands. He has great ball skills. I think he's going to be a terrific defender for the Tribe. for this preview i'm emory hunt the czar of the playbook be sure to follow me on all of my social media platforms also subscribe to football game plan podcast on itunes where you can find our fcs opening drive podcast our college football kickoff and our football game plan 400 podcast as well be sure to leave us a five star rating while you're there and also don't forget to check out and subscribe to the football game plan network located at youtube.com slash football game plan finally tune in every thursday and friday evening at 6 30 p.m eastern time to the football game plan show on the game plus network check your cable provider for channel listings